chance to freeze, chance to ignite, they take reduced damage, immune to fire, chance to block, they cold pan, they always bleed, they have increased crit, they have fizz pan, their hits can't be evaded, ignite duration, impale effect, they call, they block, they do increased damage, they don't give flask when you kill them, they have 45% increased HP, 100% fizzes extra chaos, every single one of their hits removes 10% of ES and mana, and they have 30 auras. And that's only what I can see, it might go off screen, on an unrolled map with no altars. <laughs> Guys and girl, uh, it's time for the next episode of Is It Good? Based or Cringe, and we're going on an expedition with extreme archaeology, with the big bomba, this one very extreme archaeology we're gonna put down the one big bomba and blow it up and try to kill stuff it is extremely rippy i just chisel all and go with uh, 24 percent or higher pack size for these maps and we're gonna use the archaeologist scarab so they're gonna have a lot of suffixes and prefixes we have 80 percent explosive radius and two hundred percent increased runic monster markers scarabs and uh, our tree is just Expedition, Shrine, Nico, Quant, Top Hat, Effect of Mods, Scarabs. Pretty basic tree. I took this Nico thing, so we're getting some Azerite when we're clicking the Nico node. We, we have almost 100% Nico chance, we have 88%. And we're getting 100% Expedition chance from the tree, so we don't have to use the Scarab, the Rusty Scarab, or we don't have to use the map device. There are variants, of course, of the strat. You can force Danny G by dropping this, and then they're all gonna be Danny G. I'm going for Danny G and Tujin. So I took these two nodes. We're still gonna get some Gwenan and some Rog, but hopefully not that many. And uh, you can also use a Horned Scarab. It's a different variant, but this is an expensive one. A Horned Scarab of Awakening. It's like a 70C Scarab, and that allows you to do Imbued Expedition on your map device, which is a 25% chance for the refresh currencies to be converted to logbooks. And I think logbooks are kind of cheap this league, probably partially because of this. So we're not gonna do that. We're going for the basic refresh currencies and the artifacts that come from the expeditions. I basically haven't run any expedition at all this league, so I don't have any artifacts, so we can operate under the assumption that everything I get here is from this project and I don't know how I'm gonna do the end yet I don't know if we're gonna like sell all refresh currencies then you're kind of missing out on the artifacts maybe we'll use them maybe you use the Danny G and the Tujin if we do we'll add that to the time of course but we'll figure that out we'll burn that bridge when we get to it as always empty tabs sort of loot big bomba this is gonna be extremely rippy uh, my build cannot do immune to chaos i experimented a little bit i can like i have to take off original sin and i have to take off my boots and my boots have the link so i would have to swap to another boots and even then if it's immune to like fire i only do cold damage with my helm it's it's and then lightning damage with the one it's really rough so i i think we'll just try to avoid the chaos mod if it's in the middle then we're gonna basically lose half of the expedition and we'll blow up the other side the investment is really cheap, it's like 5c per map, so even if we fail 1 or 2 or 10, we just go next, whatever, clear whatever we can, and uh, see what happens. The Nico and the Shrines is gonna help with, you know, these being runnable, so we'll add Domination for 3c, and now it's an 8c map, good luck I guess. Let's put this down. I. I can't see immune to chaos, but I also can see immune to lightning, and immune to lightning is on my screen, so we definitely have that, which means I don't know what the downsides are. The screen is not enough for this. Once again, limited by the technology of our time, so I have to actually run around and see if there is an immune to chaos, and there isn't, so we're fine. Pick up some shrines, pick up some Nikos, and uh, blow it up, I guess. Uh, good luck. Not today. 
Okay, something tinged. What tinged? A divine orb! Oh my god, this is insane! <laughs> Wait, Agony Shuffle though. He's more insane than the divine orb. Okay, okay, let's uh, kite a little more. Orb is scarab of doubling. Guys, this strat is insane. We already got a divine orb. Worth. We can, we can just leave and we're fine. Oh my god, my filter. Oh no. PSA. Once per video. Filter blade setting. If you're like, oh my god, I don't want to see a cluster jewel or I don't want to see this unique. Why is this unique showing up? You pick it up, you control C the item, you go to filter blade where you have your filter and you go to the simulate tab and you copy the item in here. And filter blade will show you the option that is showing that item. You can either hide it here or go finding customizer and then customize the rule if you only want to remove this one item. I don't want to see any of these uniques, so I'm just going to hide all this. GG. Filter blade is amazing. You've been winning. No, 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 no ultimatum. No, no, not this time. Oh, chaos. Is chaos immune? Where's the chaos? What? There's a triple immune on one here, and there's another chaos here. Okay, we have to put it down. So it's not chaos immune. It's still chaos immune. What is that? Okay, as far as I can. It's still chaos immune. Okay, as far down as I can. Did I do it? It's still chaos immune. Guys. Guys. What about now? It is immune to cold, fire, lightning, chaos, and fizz. Nice. What can kill this? What about now? Cold, fire, lightning, and fizz immune. Let's go. That's, that is completely fine, guys. No problem. See? Already ting. And, uh... And we probably die, but, you know, at least we killed them. Blow it up. Ha! Oh my god, it's so much loot, dude. It's crazy. Okay. Done. Two logbooks. And a bunch of burial medallions. I'm liking this so far. I'm really liking this so far. Have I, have I said that? Have I said that before? Oh, he had maps. Oh my god, it's the archer guy. Ah, no, he's gonna heal back up. It's the same mob. <laughs> but worse, he's faster than the caster. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god, he didn't heal. Okay, he healed. Okay, the boss fight is done. Oh no, it's Chaos Immune. Where is it? It's here and it's also here. Oh my god. And it's also here and here. What? Chaos Immune here, here, here and here. What? Okay, well guys, we do this 10% of the expedition. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, sometimes that's what happens, and that's okay, right? Just, we, that's it, it's done. It's, you know, five sea scarabs, man. Go next map. That is part of the deal. Ooh, I like this, I like this. We're good here, I think. Ow. Ooh, something tinged. Neuron activation. It's a divine! This is the best strat, guys. Oh my god, I'm dying. It's fine. Okay, guys, look. I have modified my build so that it's tankier. Look how tanky the build is now. Look, it, it, can, it can tank all of this. No problem, guys. For sure. Just get a better build and you will be also able to tank expedition encounters. All you need to do is... Pick up a divine shrine. I think I'm getting perma stone actually. I can't. <laughs> okay, okay. Here we go. We stack the loot. It's beautiful. <laughs> but it was rog, so it's terrible. Yeah, I'm auto attacking because I can't leech from them. 
And I think I'm also not getting flash charges from them. Yeah, I'm like auto attacking most of the time. Oh, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Yeah. All right, that's our first brick. Uh, I mean, we got some stuff, but you know, minus five C. How many maps did it take for a full brick? Pretty much exactly halfway. Guys, second PSA, two for one in this one. If you want to change your favorite maps, let's say from dunes to jungle valley, you only have to use this, your atlas once, and then you can just copy your favorite from your other favorites. Look, just like this, boom. So fast. Uh oh, they are very blocking. And I'm auto attacking, not getting flash charges, not leeching. Okay, I need to leech from something else. There we go. Mm, that's a, I think that's a kite angle. Kite into the boss, watch this. I can leech off the boss. Boom. Okay, guys, we're done with 50 maps and we got this 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 and that's it i have a good feeling about this one i took out some garbage as usual and now we're on to the maps and uh, some of the good stuff so i found 27 maps we can start pricing these at 4c each now and the other maps at 3 108c take out the other maps 30, 49. We got four T17s, actually five T17s. And on Dunes, you find Fortress, which is 70C each. And we got a Venter. It's bad. Who would have thought? Or Bidden Sanctum, just the one. Just at 10C, I think it's 15, but whatever. We got four stack decks. That is very sad. Expedition used to be this like stack deck farming bonanza. We got four stack decks and 50 maps. We got a Maracat bow with T1 max draw fractured attack speed. That's kind of nice. There's only one for a divine. I don't know if this will sell, you know, so you know, we'll just way underprice these. 100c on this. This is a evasion base, actually. A sling gloves, which is a good base. <laughs> and a fractured max draw decks, 70c. Put in like 50c. We found an Aegis which is 50C, 60C, 70C. Found the Skyforth, which is usually just Vol fodder. It's like 20C, but we'll Vol it for fun and add 20C. Oh, we Vault plus two AOE on it. Now it's actually 80C, but we'll still value it at 20C because, you know, Omega Lul. And then uh, we got a big fracture, 17 crit multi, Crimson Jewel. So 100C one minute ago. One divine, 100 C for this one. So those are the random cool stuff that we found. Astragalus, half a chaos, 150 C. Rug crafts, one C each, 79, boom. Or you craft it away. Danny G, these are expensive. And I think now it's time to switch to divines. We are at 8.3 divine profit at the moment. That's not including the investment yet. So we got... 2.9 divines in Danny G currency. And then we got 230 exited coinage, which is 30 to a divine. 7.6 divines in exotic coinage. Let's take out the logbooks next. Actually, we're going back to chaos. So we're at 2632 chaos profit. Let's check out the logbooks. Two gen, black scythe, black scythe logbooks not corrupted 10c what about bulk let's check tft okay we can do 15c each if you have a bigger bulk it will sell for more wait any of these have bosses let's look at it yeah the boss is one dev so it seems like denigy is 12c each tujin is 15c 225c of tujin logbox and two denigy logbox and then we have a couple of others I don't think this, these are worth anything. I don't know if people run them. Maybe people run the Gwenon one. Early League Rog is good for crafting. We'll just not value these. It's they can, You can probably sell them for like 5C each or something. Uh, there's a couple in there. But that's it. How much did we invest? I bought these Carabs at 1C each. These Carabs at 
less than one C each. We'll say one C each. It's three to two. And then these scarabs are also one C each. But I used two of these. So we actually used four C per map in terms of scarabs. This will change. You'll probably have to pay a little more. Probably six, seven, eight C per map on scarabs. But I paid five, so that's what we're gonna count. So with that, it's 50 maps, and I also put in three chaos in domination. So that's eight chaos. And then I chiseled the maps for two chaos. That's 10 chaos. And I alk them and sometimes rerolled them. So 11 chaos per map. So we spent 550 chaos on this whole project. So we are at a 2,300 chaos profit plus this stuff, plus this stuff, and this stuff, which is not that much. But let's let's see how much that is. Expedition and go. Those are the only three tabs we want. Okay, okay, okay. And now we go stash, and we find out that there is 18 divines in these three tabs. What? Why? Jesus. I don't know, you guys love Wealthy Exile, so if, do we believe this? Lemao XDD, you can check every item. Yeah, press F5 after sync maybe. Sure, I press F5. It's working, are you dumb? Okay, so I've been told that this is real, that we trust Wealthy Exile and uh, this, is, this is real numbers. I have priced these three tabs. It is synced, they are all synced. Sink it again, I'll sink it again, nothing changed. We made 18 divines plus 2300 chaos, which is, that's 16 divines plus 18 divines. We made 34.6 divines. Wow, in 50 maps is 0 0.69, nice, divine extraction per map. However, we run this really fast because you just run in, you do the expedition and you leave. It took two minutes per map when we timed the session. That is uh, 50 times two divided by 60, 1.66 hours to run all of this. And we didn't find any big drop or anything. So divided by 1.66, that is 20.8 divines an hour. <laughs> Hello, ding, 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 this is it. But you need a good character because expedition is hard as fuck, okay? You run them a bit slower. Let's say you take three minutes per map, right? Then you need two and a half hours to run them. Then it's 13.6 divines an hour. Expedition, log in, okay? However, it is hard and rippy, but it's cheap. So even if you go in and you can't do it, you just leave. It's five C scarabs, maybe 10 after this video, whatever. It's still, it's nothing. However, this is the time where we actually have to engage with the NPCs. This is pricing as if you just sold all of your real currency and never engaged with the vendors. Unfortunately, if you do that, you're basically missing out on all of the artifacts that you looted, which is thousands in just 50 maps. So you could just sit here and reroll two gen for like two hours and get even more currency out of it. Is that worth your time? Do you want to do that? I don't know. That's a personal thing that you have to decide for yourself. And for the purposes of science, I probably have to do it. At least from these 50 maps that we farmed, I'm gonna roll them all, talk to Tujin for God knows how long, and we will science it. We'll see how much we get, time, how much it takes, how much value we extract, right? We have to extract 4.3c, value from every reroll coin on average so we're gonna do more ritual window shopping and uh, see if that's worth so youtube i will save you of the boring parts of course it's vendor time okay as long as we can buy okay we, uh, this we should probably stop we're we're almost completely out of uh of artifacts we spent half of our barrier medallions but we got 65 two gen coins a whole bunch of artifacts for 2-gen and three sellable logbooks. Actually, this is dead. Two sellable logbooks. And it took two and a half minutes. Okay, so Danny G is not a big time sink. 
Let's put this to the side here. And we have this 2.30 to work with. New timer. Okay. Let's try. Okay. Reroll. Okay. Three, Div. Yo, Tujen is my best friend. I is Tujen. You didn't have to. Three divine for one thousand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tujen, what about like six hundred and thirty? Ah, uh, okay. No. What about seven hundred and? Okay, seven eighty. I can do that. I can do that. Okay. Okay. I think. I think we made money, guys. And we still have a hundred more. Oh no, another divine. No, we're out. We're out. That's it. We have to stop here. Okay. I spent 113, actually 134 exotic coinage. And then we have another divine there waiting for us. If I run some maps or if I run a Denny G, if I run a logbook or something, I can buy that. We got nine row divs from Tujan. 34.6 divines, so 4,800 chaos. We spent, so 536 C, and we spent like 60 of these, right? 60 Boreal medallions. So, this is what we made in the whole project, pure profit. But now we spent 746 chaos of reroll currency to engage with the vendors. So we t take out 746C, so this is our profit, and we got this. <laughs> oh no. So we go to Wealthy Exile, we untick everything. Okay, so it's just the something tab alone. We go to stash. <laughs> no. <laughs> we just made 17 divines out of... 700c of Tujin coins. Oh no. What is 17 divines? That's 2300 chaos. That's 6478c total profit with an extra half an hour of Tujining. Half an hour. Okay? Less, actually. Oh no. So instead of 1.66 hours. It took 2.16 hours to run all of this. So we made 46 divines in two hours and 16 minutes, which is 21.4 divines an hour. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, maybe we got a little lucky with divine. Remember, we have another divine waiting for us here for one second, okay? So this could be more, but anyway. Wow. Uh, maybe we got lucky with the divines, probably. I don't know, we will keep doing this because I'm loving this strat, okay? Oh, that's so for disgusting. the first time ever, I actually invested in some more scarabs and I'm gonna be running more of this. But Tujin is not for everyone. You sit here and you haggle and you're like, oh, I'm not happy about it, not grumpy either. You can turn up the sound, but uh, this, is, this is the first like honest 15 div plus per hour strat easily. If you have a strong enough character and you can deal with immunities and it's 20 plus if you're doing everything fast and you are two genning fast, maybe with a slight luck, there is a jackpot item in two gen. You can get a mirror shard, which will instantly bump you 20 plus divines or like almost 30, 25, 30, depending on current mirror price, right? Whenever you're watching this, but we didn't get that. So we didn't get that lucky, but I think we got a little lucky on the, on the divine side. We got unlucky on the Legion strat. If you watch that video, people are telling me like every time they do a full ornate incubation, they like get a divine or every second time. I didn't get a single divine there. 
we got a lot of divines here, we got an apothecary and in, in ultimatum. You know, this game has big RNG elements, sometimes up, sometimes down. This time, it was off, for sure.